I have determined the approximate location of the lab based on the boy's information. It is marked on your Soliton radar. Hello again, this is Roland 1990 with another episode of Metal Gear Rising. <laughs> Well, that's what I've been trying to do. Come <laughs> on. 
get the rhythm of it. Discovered the entrance to the lab. Sending coordinates to your Soliton radar. This would appear to be the UG maintenance area. You should find a terminal there. Something they use to upload mission parameters to the UGs. And something I can use to access the lab's main server? Perhaps. But first you need to take a dump. I... wait, what? A dump? A digital optical output mounted proxy. You'll need one to interface with the terminal. Most any UG should suffice. A tripod or the like. I'll see what I can come up with. How do I use it? Simply connect to it. You should be able to use your communications outlet to control the proxy UG. All right, let's give it a shot.
Right. I thought you said stealth ops were your specialty. Continue to increase security, they may shut out all outside network connections. Please do your best to avoid being seen. that doing that is rather satisfying. Is it over? For now, yeah. But that room, 
Those were cyborg brain casings. Duh. We saw. George said they were harvesting organs from kids. Yes. This must be why they are trafficking children. Perhaps other organs are being sold elsewhere, but they are definitely taking their brains. Jesus. Are they making these kids into cyborgs? Wait. The cyborgs you've been fighting, did they seem like they might be kids? You said earlier that child soldiers have a telltale approach to combat. Yeah, but I didn't see it here. Those weren't kids. So, what? Desperado's just doing the surgeries there? We've got to do something about all those brains. And the other kids George was talking about. He just escaped a few hours ago. They couldn't have taken all their brains out that fast. True. There could still be a bunch of kids they haven't touched yet. I better move. Let's save the children. Probably best you stay out of there. We don't want to risk harming any of the brains. Okay, and where do you suggest I go then? Terminal. These guys are pretty jumpy now. Any funny business, and they might just open fire. Try latching onto Cyborg's heads from behind. Then, an electric shock should knock them unconscious. We have to fight them all. Just kinda hoping I could take a stealth approach for once.
That terminal is most likely designed to download mission data and such into the UGs. Let's try using it to access the lab server. Titan, I found something. In one of the Sentry Cyborg's visual logs, guess who shows up? Patch it through. Right away. See that, Kev? And Monty's killer. Desperado's chief of operations goes by Sundowner, the Californian wildfire. The kids. Think we're too late? Only one way to find out. George was still alive. Maybe the payment hasn't come through yet. Hmm, maybe. But you heard what he said. They've already started some brains on VR training. There must be more than just what I found here. What about the VIP in the suit? I'll find out definitely seemed familiar. Right. I'm going after the kids. Well, this has been Roland 1990 and I want to thank you for watching this. So if you liked what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. See you on the next episode.